There have been so many influential series over the years when it comes to young adult entertainment, whether that be from fiction to movies to anything in between, from everything like The Hunger Games to modern masterpieces like Twilight. Yeah, I said Twilight. The era of young adult fiction has been a wonderful one to grow up in and I am so excited because today I'm going to be revisiting one of my all time favorite series and yes we're going to be binging it all the way through, not in one day because I, I enjoy life. We are going to be watching the entire Harry Potter film collection but I decided that since I have seen all these movies, I'm obsessed with them, I've read the books that it would be better just to put it all together into one big massive video. So strap in, grab your snacks, grab your girlfriend, grab your boyfriend, grab your significant other, whoever. It's gonna be a fun time. Can't thank you all for coming along on this journey with me. But before we get into it, if you guys could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button, I would truly, truly appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Please, 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 for my sanity, smack the like button for this video. Leave a comment in the comment section of what's your favorite Harry Potter moment in the series. I also wanted to let you guys know that at the end of the video, I will be ranking the entire Harry Potter series because who doesn't love a tier list when it comes to the Harry Potter films? Go check out my two social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times. Go check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash movies in depth for the full uncut linked reaction to all of the Harry Potter movies. And trust me, these are gonna be heavily, heavily edited down, maybe like 10 minutes per movie. So if you wanna see the two and a half hour reaction of a lot of good, fun stuff that won't make it into the YouTube cut, go over there and check out the page. I love y'all, y'all are the best. And let's just get right into this. Let's go ahead and start a battle in the comment section. Who is your favorite Dumbledore? For me, it always is gonna be the newer version of Dumbledore starting at number three. I was sad to see this older version go and I know it was kind of accurate to the books, but I love the newer Dumbledore. Professor McGonagall? I'm thinking about it. They have a lot of faith that no one comes out of their house whatsoever at night. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? I would trust Hagrid with my life. You will soon find out about that whole storyline. Just give it like, one movie. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. He's far better off growing up away from all of that. Was he though? <laughs> I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I will never get over the fact that I unironically had a pair of Harry Potter glasses that were prescriptionally made for me. And I wore them for about five years. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even think about this, but this is kind of perfect for right now. <laughs> How many are there? 36. 36, but last year, last year I had 37. You know, I would normally say refrain from smacking your children, but I think Dudley takes the cake on how to not follow that rule. He doesn't understand what it's like lying there day after day. Hey mom, I think that kid is talking to a snake that just winked at him. Magic. Do you miss your family? Wait, are you telling me that snakes can read? Because how would he... Never mind. <laughs> Thanks. No! It instantly goes from being a sophisticated snake to trying to be an ankle biter. You're right where you belong. There's no such thing as magic. But there is such a thing as a lot of pissed off owls. Hey Bill, Tom, you here for the Potter Kid too? No more mail through this letterbox. This right here, kid, this is how you should accurately handle all of your problems in life. No blasted letters today! Can we all agree that John Williams deserves a Lifetime Achievement Award for the work he did for these movies? Make a wish, Harry. Well, I didn't expect it to come true that fast. Of course you'll know all about Hogwarts. Sorry, no. Do you realize which family you left me with? You're a wizard, Harry. The line that sparked a generation. You and she meant that. Potter. You know, everybody always says that he got that pronunciation of his last name from Draco. Uh-uh, it was Petunia who went Potter. Potter. <laughs> that, kids, is what you call just desserts. It's Harry Potter. Welcome back, Mr. Potter. 
Welcome back. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. But, but, but back from where? How is it they know who I am? I'm not sure I'm exactly the right person to tell you that, Harry. Given the fact that you're the only friend in the entire magical community to Harry, you might be the right person to tell him that. Well, there's your money, Harry. Gringotts, take no safer place. Yeah, Harry, there's no safer place. This bank just seems to be oddly leaning towards the left, but everything inside, it's safe. And does Mr. Harry Potter have his key? What type of bank requires you to keep your own key for their security systems? Didn't think your mom and dad would leave you with nothing though, did you? That's a nice way of putting the fact that they're both dead. Any reason why that little stone has to have its own light? Best not to mention this to anyone, Harry. I, I literally know no one in the magical community. Who am I going to tell? A wand. Oh, you want Ollivanders? There ain't no place better. Is that name cheeky or lazy? Give it a wave. Another thing I've always wondered is how does he keep his shop so orderly? He's gotta have a better method as to testing out his wands. It is curious that you should be destined for this one when its brother gave you that scar. That is the definition of irony at its finest. The one who gave me this. You know, Hagrid, I know you do. Technically you don't, but I'll allow it. Stick to it, Harry, that's very important. Stick to your ticket. I could really did just hand him a ticket that says, oh yeah, go in between these numbers and uh, th you'll be good to go. Don't worry about it. Just go. He's not Fred, I am. Sorry, George. I'm only joking. I am Fred. This is why I never wanted twins. Do you really have the, the, the what? The Grinch. The, the, the Grinch. Anything off the trolley, dears? No, thanks. What in God's name is that? That is a literal clump of cauliflower. We'll take the lot. Wow, flex much, Harry. Bertie bought seventy flavor beans. George sweared he got a bogey flavored one once. I'll never understand people who like to play those games with jelly beans. Might accidentally eat boogers. <laughs> of course, I've only tried a few simple ones myself. But they've all worked for me. Here, Hermione, I I've got this bucket to catch all the rest of your ego from the first movie. Hello, Harry. Hi, Hagrid. Whoa! Ron, you've got to remember your manners. That man could literally crush you with one footstep. Now, while you're here, your house will be like your family. Oh, no. Vin! Vin, don't do it! I don't have friends. I got family. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. I wish I could say something, but that was a pretty good guess. <laughs> that the third floor corridor on the right-hand side is out of bounds. Why just the right-hand side? Hermione Granger? Mental, that one. I'm telling you. Mental that I'm actually going to fall in love with her. Am I right, Harry? Gryffindor! I'll never get over the way he claps. That was very good, madam. Very, very tasteful. Slytherin! Can you actually let the hat hit his head? <laughs> but where to put you? I won't even lie, I've done sorting hat quizzes before and I've seen the personality traits of Slytherin and the other houses. I'm totally a Slytherin. Not even gonna try to hide my favoritism here. Hello, how are you? Well, I was a lot better before I had a ghost in my chicken. Perhaps it would be more useful if I were to transfigure Mr. Potter and yourself into a pocket watch. Don't worry, me and Ron got it covered. It's half past a freckle late. Hey, look, Neville's got a rememberal. It is the dumbest device in history. It literally tells you you forgot something, but you can never remember what you forgot. Oh, thanks for telling me that I suck, but you just said it politely. Mr. Lumber! I said, well, screw this, I'm not getting hit. Have it your way, then. Malfoy should have gone into football because he's got a cannon for an arm. Whoa. Harry. Oh, I never noticed this before, but that says M.G. McGonagall. Is that like maybe McGonagall's parents? Were they on the team too? <laughs> What's happening? This is actually the most inefficient way of traveling of all time. We're not supposed to be here. This is the third floor. Hey, only the right side is forbidden. Hello, Hamora. First iteration of why there should never be a locked door anywhere in the wizarding world. For either of you, come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expect. Why is that worse? Hermione. <laughs> she needs to sort out her priorities. In this case, I'm gonna agree with you, Ron. You catch this, the game is over. You catch this, Potter, and we win. Unless you know the other team scores 190 points. I know my Harry Potter here woods. We have Guardian Leviosa. Ron, Ron, swish and flick, not stab. Guardian. 
God Leviosa. Well done, Thank dear. God. Seamus, you're not even trying. You're saying when God. I think we're going to need another feather over here, Professor. And two eyebrows. Two in the danger! Thought you ought to know. You know, there's about 500 ways you could have announced that, Quill, and uh, I don't know if that was the best. Hermione, he's just doing the swish and flick. Cool. Lucky his head fell that way. Imagine if it had on the wand. I love that the entire team has the most ratty broomsticks of all time, and Harry's like, yeah. Peasants. Now I want a nice clean game from all of you. But I'm especially looking at the green side of you. <laughs> In a first time history match win, we have win by throw up. What that dog is guarding is strictly between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Why would you say that? <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. You keep saying that, but you keep saying things. Literally combining my two favorite things, Christmas time and Harry Potter. I see you've packed. See you haven't. See you both still need an attitude check. Whoa! That's an invisibility cloak! Really rare! Do we ever establish later on who gave him the invisibility cloak? I found this in the restricted section. It's still hot. That means as a student's out of bed. This is how I get my purpose in life. The Sorcerer's Stone is a legendary substance. It'll transform any metal into pure gold. A stone that literally turns anything into gold. That would start a war. We <laughs> know about the Sorcerer's Stone! Oh. Hagrid, no, remember our rule. You need to stop talking. No one gonna get past Fluffy. Except for me and Dumbledore. I shouldn't have told you that. What have we talked about, Hagrid? Who's that? Ah, that's a peeping Malfoy. <laughs> oh dear. Technically, it's old Draco. All four of you will receive detention. Perhaps I heard you wrong. That's what we call just desserts, you little twerp. A sorry lot, this Hagrid. Is it ironic that they're getting punished for being out late at night near the dark forest by going into the dark forest? Did I just see an ominous figure with a hood walking off in the distance? No, we just we just gonna ignore that. I'd say you were scared. Scared, Potter. You wish. But he's weak. He's living off the unicorns. Imagine telling someone that, hey, how is Voldemort surviving all this years? Well, you see, he found the supply of unicorns. Take Fluffy, for example. Play him a bit of music and he falls straight to sleep. Hagrid, you need to go to therapy. You're sneaking out again, aren't you? Now, Neville, listen. It's the teddy bear pajamas that really does the outfit for Neville here. <laughs> I can't let you out, Hedwig. Hedwig's like, I will literally chew my own beak off if you do not let me out. And, and Dudley, you will be... I'll be waiting to open the door. Like the pompous ass that I am. I'll be in my bedroom making no noise and pretending that I don't exist. Why do I feel like those were the exact words out of their mouths to him? Harry Potter, such an honor it is. Dobby, you are the most conflicting character of this entire series. I love you, but you are sometimes the worst. Back off, Dobby. Stop it. Are you all right? Oh, fine, sir. Dobby just seems to have given himself a concussion. I can't. Hogwarts is my home. Then Dobby must do it, sir, for Harry Potter's own good. Dobby, you always say that, but in reality, you're just torturing him. Who in the bloody hell is mowing at this hour? You and that bloody pigeon aren't going anywhere! It's an owl! Just Desserts Part 45! By the way, Harry, happy birthday. Why does all of this always happen on his birthdays? He's just gotta expect it at this point. Morning, Weasleys! Morning, We just have to accept the fact that Arthur is the official boomer of the Wizarding World. Your sons flew that enchanted car of yours to Surrey and back last night. How'd it go? Oh, oh, it ever... Let's just be real, that's every family in existence. <laughs> oh, this close. Diagon Alley. You see? You want me to go into that willingly? Diagonally. He did the British pronunciation of it. You know, you're in a magic shop and you see a hand. My first instinct probably wouldn't be to, oh, I'm gonna give you a nice clean handshake. Lock. <gasps> Here he is. 
It's the biggest chad in the entire Harry Potter universe. The Daily Prophet bestseller list. The last time that Draco's actually a cool character. I thought your family could sink no lower. Coming from a literal magicist. Oh, never. Christ, Dobby, you little turd! Of all the trees you could land in, of all the ones. This tree is trying to impale us. You're going to expel us, aren't you? Not today, Mr. Weasley. But the next time, just, just you wait, the next time. Ah, you can do whatever you want. Who here can tell me the properties of the mandrake root? To annoy and frighten everyone. Pull it up! I wonder what Christopher Columbus was telling to Rupert Grant this entire movie. Now, Rupert, what I want you to do is just to look at the camera and go, <laughs> the amount of TikToks out of what this. <laughs> See what you make up of. No! Uh, sir, it seems like they're about to literally hang up one of the students by the rafters. You might want to do something. Why is it always me? Because we're waiting for your glow up. I hear a clown. Pennywise, when did you get into my Harry Potter movie? Time to float. I know exactly the counter curse that could have spared her. How have I not noticed that look that Dumbledore just gave him? That's the most sass look I've ever seen. He literally says, oh, I totally knew what to do. Dumbledore looks straight in his eyes. It is said to be the home of a monster. Even to this day, I still get goosebumps at that line. Basically turning this Harry Potter into a little horror film. Watch yourself, Harry! Woods, you might want to take your own advice. <laughs> hey, does anyone notice that this bludger literally is only chasing me? <laughs> Just deserves parts 45 million. I will fix that arm of yours straight away. Not you. Harry thinks like me every single time. Emendo! <laughs> Sound design on that is too real. Hello. Oh my god. Of all the people that I wouldn't want to see in this moment right now, Dobby, you take the cake. Now that history is to repeat itself. You mean this has happened before? <gasps> now Dobby is taken over for Hagrid from the last movie. Dobby only wants Harry Potter to be safe. Somehow, from what you've already done, I don't believe that. Who's Moaning Myrtle? I'm Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> Literal queen. As I myself have done on countless occasions. For full details, see my published work. A walking advertisement. That is all this man is good for. Might I suggest someone from my own house? Malfoy, perhaps? Oh, I just came off the top of my head. The one person that would actually try to do something harmful to Harry. <laughs> no big deal. Scared Potter. You wish. Literally the last time that Draco's cool. I said disarm only. Seven sort here. Disarm only, immediately sends out a snake. Joke's on you, Malfoy. You can talk to snake. I mean, I accidentally said a python on my cousin Dudley at the zoo once. You just happened to leave that out? Jenny, you have no room to give any glares to anyone for the rest of the franchise. Professor Dumbledore will be waiting for you. Sherbet Lemon. <laughs> of all the damn passwords you could have faked. <laughs> This movie is literally just an entire collection of Harry being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Fascinating creatures, Felix, and tears of healing powers. Not trying to do any sort of foreshadowing, are we here, Professor Dumbledore? Not suspicious at all. Just two floating treats for two floating dolts. Hermione, are you sure this is actually Polyjuice Potion? It looks like my face is about to boil off. It was cat hair I plucked off Millicent Bulstrobe's robes. Look at my face. I'm not gonna lie to you, Coach, that's a pretty frightening face. <laughs> it can't hurt if someone throws something at you. It'll just go right through you. He's not wrong. <laughs> I would have died if <laughs> literally in that moment it just cuts back to the common room and you just see Neville going, Oh no. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you tell me what's going on here? Also, really cool effect that everything else in the frame is black and white except for Harry, who's in color. You wish to tell me? No, sir. Nothing. <laughs> it's the same damn look. <laughs> Flesh-eating slug repellent for the mandrakes, you know? But once their acne's cleared up... We Wait, they can get acne? Ew. Potter, you and I will find Mr. Weasley. There's something that both of you have to see. Ah, uh, this gives me goosebumps every time I watch it. Oh, it's so painful. 
Take me where? Not Azkaban prison. I'm a There's not a cell big enough to hold Hagrid in Azkaban. I can only imagine what an awful loss that would be to the school. You mark my words, there'll be killings next. He's like, if we could only hope. Why, spiders? Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? Because then it wouldn't be an interesting movie, Ron. You all cannot convince me that this is not their horror film for the entire franchise. What? Oh, that is nightmare fuel. Where's Hermione when you need her? Who needs Hermione when you got the best character of all? The car! Uh, there's this thing called a gas pedal. PUSH IT! What's that? This is Hermione proving that she's still the best, even beyond the petrification. We'll leave you to deal with the monster, Gilderoy. Your skills, after all, are legend. I love that they all, like, obviously know that he's a fraud, but they still hired him and they still let him go do stupid things. I'm rather gifted with memory charms. How ironic. <laughs> Once again, Ron. Cool. Sure you don't want to test it first? No! Yeah, I want to test it by lockharding it. Really quite filthy down here. Why do you think we sent you first? <laughs> Joke's on you. That wand don't work, dum-dum. <sighs> now this lockhart I can get behind. This is such an amazing set piece. You can't tell me they didn't just knock this out of the park. I find I can be very persuasive. Persuasive or controlling? That's that's a big difference. Hey, yo, JK, why'd you call this guy Tom Marvolo Riddle? So I can do this. Ugh, I get goosebumps every single time I hear that. Make the playing field even, baby. We should also point out that this entire movie wouldn't exist if Hogwarts just had smaller pipes. Goosebumps, baby! Yo, Snakey Boy, tell me how my sword tastes. Funny, the damage a silly little book can do. Funny that your one weakness is the one thing you forgot to grab. No! That's such a cool effect. Honestly, they should bottle those up. Have them on hand as like a, a sensu bean. This is just like magic! It's almost like we're wizards! There is sufficient evidence to have you both expelled. It is only fitting that you both receive special awards for services to the school. That's the Dumbledore I know and love, baby. Be careful. Be careful. Immediately grabs the blade. One hopes that no more of Lord Voldemort's old school things should find their way into innocent hands. Or, you know, baskets at a bookstore. Guess what? You played yourself! Dobby is free. Just want to be clear about what you just did. <laughs> Need to point out here that he was literally trying to kill Harry on Hogwarts ground. He's down bad. All exams have been cancelled. Let's go, baby! No homework for this kid! It's no Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. Kill me with just the simplest of lines. No, no, Dumbledore, you're doing it wrong. Enjoy it while it lasts, kids. We only go darker from here. Lumos Maxima! Yes. I'd say yes in that ungrateful way. People like this are why I hate the world. <laughs> they use a cane at St. Brutus's boy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been beaten loads of times. If you, uh, if you want me to show you a demonstration, I, I, I got a belt in the back. Wrong with the pup. Shut up! Shut up! Definitely reached the angst phase of the Harry Potter universe. <laughs> I will never not be immature about those buttons hitting Dudley in the face. <laughs> That's one small step for man, one giant leap for wizard kind. That's my favorite bus in the entire world. Take her away, Ern. Yeah, take it away, Ern. It's, it's going, going to, to be, be a bumpy, bumpy ride. One and three quarters. Let's go! Who is that? Who we stacked? Are you serious? Are you serious? That's serious. <laughs> the ministry doesn't send people to Azkaban for blowing up their aunt. It's only tearing them apart that we actually do something about it. Serious Black, you mean? But what's he got to do with me? Uh, uh, oh. 
Don't worry about that. We have an entire movie to explore. I just have to really make sure that you're hungry for knowledge. For God's sake, don't lose him. If only they had left that rat. Professor RJ Lupin. How is it she knows everything? She knows how to use her eyeballs. It's on a suitcase, Ronald. I'm here to scar your childhood. <laughs> Were the toads only there for that last note? Of defense against the dark arts teacher. Good luck, professor. We're 0 for 2 to kick off the series. You're gonna need that luck. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of time. But only remember, turn on the light. I would actually like to get that tattooed on me someday. Go in. Thank you. Flebs. Did you, you just say flebs? Flebs. Where did you come from? Me? Been here all this time. I don't know. I didn't have a sense of nag sitting behind my shoulder like normal, so. Did you? Pretty sure that's Neville's entire existence. You have to be in two classes at once. How could anyone be in two classes at once? I don't know, Hermione. You tell us. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a special little thing for this. I literally have been holding on to this for the longest time. It's a time turner. <laughs> Remember when I said Malfoy's lost his edge? You do not want to insult a hippogriff. Trust me, I only have nine fingers and toes to prove it. Well done. Oh, well done, Harry. Thank you. They let you write him. No. I think we've graduated from patting to writing. Whoa! I wonder what Hagrid's thought process was if Harry fell off. This is one of those iconic shots. Oh, no! Oh, that's killed me. We went from scared Potter to this. To me, it just looks like he's had a few bad video game matches. He'll be fine. Give him a cup of coffee and we can have a great conversation. A very simple charm exists to repel a boggart. Lupin, that seems absolutely ridiculous. What really finishes a boggart is laughter. You have to be able to insult it in every single possible way. <laughs> Too soon? This is one of those things I'd be really fascinated about. What if someone's greatest fear was death? What would it turn into? The cinematography in this movie particularly is just on another level. This scene is so iconic. You already know what page it is. 394! Oh, Miss Granger, are you incapable of restraining yourself or do you take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all? He's got a point, you know. Ron, now's not the time. I could see the little snitch actually being a little tiny lightning rod. This is the one time that the invisibility cloak probably won't be that helpful, Harry. Is that really Dumbledore? Any steady pacing? Does that a lot? How do you all always stay in sync when you try to talk to other people? Madame Rosmerta, Ron fancies her. If he did, that wouldn't be a bad choice. Harry Potter? That is a wizard whose name we cannot say because of he who must not be named. <laughs> Sirius Black. And he told you know who. Harry, you're invisible, but your breathing could be heard about three stories over that way. Sirius Black was and remains to this day Harry Potter's godfather. Ugh, that'll never not give me goosebumps. Such good music, such good reveal. Ugh. Ah, right through the carolers. <laughs> well, it is. It's the happiest I've ever felt. I think the biggest reason that this movie is so good is because it, it can live on its own. It doesn't have to be a part of the Harry Potter universe. Yes, it adds to it, but it is a film first. Expecto Patronum! Goosebumps every single time. The committee members took turns talking about why we were there. That just seems like normal government. Buckbeak's been sentenced to death. All because Malfoy couldn't follow the rules. Buckbeak has to die. <laughs> that is clever that they let you hear the rat, but they don't actually let you see it. They just show from up here. Smart filmmaking. Strutting about the castle. My dad didn't strut, and nor do I. We did what normal people do. We walked. Now, uh, what do we have here? Do you mind me trying? Yeah, see, what we have here is a little tiny ball of smoke and mirrors. Tonight, he betrayed his friends with hot rods. Did you say something? Mm, nope, I didn't, but you did. You foul, loathsome, of them evil little cockroach! He's not worth it. He isn't, but I still want to hit him. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Gotta love it, in the back of the head smacking that rock, yes! Blimey. 
Yakuza. This is where the movie goes from really good to amazing. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Oh shit, you just got screwed. Where's Harry? He's a trapper, he's a dog, he's an animagus. Yeah, this may be the most mind-blowing scene of the entire Harry Potter franchise, outside of maybe, like, Snape's death in part two. Of Are you going to kill me, Harry? Expelliarmus! Yeah. One mind-blow after another. He's a werewolf! How long have you known? Since Professor Snape set the essay. If anyone would pick up on that clue, it would be Hermione. Come out, come out and play! And then the Snape, of course. We have too many buns in the kitchen at this point. Why don't you run along and play with your chemistry set. That's potion set to you. Pettigrew's alive and he's right there. It's mental. You're right. It's the perfect plan until we figure it out. Harry! The definition of horrible timing. This entire movie, baby, in a nutshell. Ugh, it's so creepy. <laughs> Friend versus friend, the worst fights. Ow. They found their target. <laughs> I honestly cannot think of a worse way to go than having the soul literally sucked out of you. More than one innocent life may be spared. Three turns should do it, I think. Oh, don't you worry, Dumbledore. I'm locked and loaded. Here we go. Three turns. You all ready? Let's head back in time. Clearly something happened. He wants us to change. <laughs> I can tell you it wasn't that. Is that really what my hair looks like from the back? That's what you're noticing in this instant. <laughs> Can I get the nice dead ferret? Do you ever expect that you would have said that in your entire lifetime? <laughs> I sharpen this blade and I will use it! Look, it's Lupin. You all never thought to do that before? Hermione, you used that spell in the second movie. Oh, the plot holes. Literally, when you realize the only person that can save yourself is yourself. Expecto Patronum! One of the top three best moments in the entire franchise. Reason number 86 as to why there should never ever be locked doors in the wizarding world. The ones that love us never really leave us. Not trying to foreshadow anything, are we here, serious? How did you get there? I was talking to you there. No, you there. I don't know. Must be high on those pain pills again. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Shit, wrong movie. Ah! Ah! Are you all ready for the greatest Harry Potter meme of all time? Ah! <laughs> exactly how I want to kick off my movie a snake coming out of a skull. Did you put your name in the governor? Fuck. Sorry, Hermione, I've just had this worst dream that I had the worst haircut of my entire Harry Potter career. Wake up, Donald! Bloody hell. You're wearing a tank top, and your nips aren't out. Where are we going? I'm the foggiest. Keep up! Oh, Arthur, you're exactly how I'm gonna be as a father. At the ministry. Holy hell, where in the spider monkey did you come from? You better hold on tight, spider monkey. We don't want to be late. Come on, leave me there now. All right, everybody, this is the uh, old famous wizard saying of who's ready to take a shoey. Two, hurry, three! Drink! Yeah, get out of the kitchen, Rod. Right? Beat off the table. Beat off the table. I love magic. And I love that line. If it rains, you'll be the first to know. Well, Lucius, you're gonna feel something on the top of your head and I trust you, it's not gonna be rain. This is the best secret in the world. Crap! Oh, you all ready for the greatest match of all time? Ah, oh, psych out. You don't get to see a lick of it. I will never forgive JK for that. <laughs> this movie really did give us like 10 minutes of, oh, this is fun wizarding stuff straight into, ha ha, Death Eaters with skulls on their face. Stupify! You all can't even see where you're shooting at and you're already trying to stupefy them. Thank you. Anything sweet for you, dear? Oh, don't worry about me. I just found my perfect sweet. Why do you guys like to travel on a boat underneath the water? Because we can. But home to some very special guests as well. Filch, high knees, higher, higher. I want them up in your britches. I have no idea who she could possibly end up with. The first time I saw this, I thought this was the most badass scene in the entire franchise. 
We also seem to have the one man in the Harry Potter franchise universe with a googly eye. Got you in 4K, Harry. Need to find another place to put your chewing gum besides the underside of your desk, Mr. Finnegan? I'm here across classrooms! I know it's not Moody, but I also love this version of Moody. <laughs> Only one person is known to have survived it, and he's sitting in this room. I'm not trying to point singular eyeballs or anything. <laughs> yeah! The masters are here, baby! The dub set champion is Victor Crump! Alright, it's the one person we knew from Darn Strang! The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory! Let's go, Spider Monkey! Harry Potter! Harry Potter! No shit, Sherlock. I protest! Harry! I protest! Did you put the name of the fire? <laughs> <laughs> oh my good god, this woman. She has never made me want to claw my own eyes out more. It's a broom cupboard. You should feel right at home then. Low blow. P.S. Ah! The bird bites. Hmm, thanks, Sirius, for putting that at the end of the letter. These are not just coincidences. Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. I think we've been saying that for the past three movies. <laughs> Ronald would like me to tell you that Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's looking for you. This is the dumbest game of telephone I've ever seen. Like the batch. <laughs> These kids are literal jerk holes. Oh no, he's out, Sonny! <laughs> Accurate transformation. What are you doing? A very important life lesson. But I'm not allowed a broom. You're allowed a wand. Which basically means there are no rules. Your objective is simple. Collect the egg. This movie is really just a giant tournament arc, and it's amazing. I'm gonna need the perfect intro for my good pal Gigguk. Let's go ahead and cue it in! Tournament by the bristle of his broomstick. Hey, everybody, is that supposed to happen? Are we okay with the dragon being loose and could potentially hurt all the students? I see you, you beautiful little yellow egg bastard, come here! Seamus never actually told me anything, so it was, it was really me all along. That is the most convoluted, dumb, maniacal way to tell somebody, hey, yo, they dragons on the beat. Miss Granger, a plain but ambitious girl, seems to be developing a taste for famous wizards. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did she just call Hermione plain? Emma Watson is gorgeous. Someone better hold me back. <laughs> I'm me a dress. No, oh, no, 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 that's a fashion statement. You're never gonna let me forget this, are you? Never. <laughs> oh, they're so immature and I love it. If maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. Okay, yeah, uh, great. Soul crushing defeat, but I love it. I think McGonagall had this one right. You really do look like some Form of a lion. As for you, Mr. Weasley, you may, you may proceed into the great hall with Miss Patil. If your professor's giving you a bad look, you're down bad. We love it, Queen! She cares to join us. No, would not care to join you and Victor. The pout monster strikes again. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. This breaks my heart. And it's just completely off the point. It's really not. Never mind, off to bed, both of you. Pissed off mom again. Ron, what are you doing? The task is two days from now. Really? I had no idea. I think this movie is just the definition of teenage angst. That's really what this movie is, because they're all just so sassy to each other. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? It's not a bad place for a bar. A little weird, but okay. When's the last time you held your breath underwater for an hour, Hermione? That's minor hiccups. Don't worry about the details. Last night, something was stolen from each of our champions. I wouldn't say something, I would say someone. Something I've also always wondered is, do you think they had to convince them to allow them to do this? For them to sit down there at the bottom of the lake, or were they forced? <laughs> when did Shark Boy get into my movie? <laughs> that was a hell of a jump. You helped. Yeah, a bit. I was the moral support of the group. You get too close to the truth and things get messy. Why would you keep that as candy? Oh, no, 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 no. Heard about one more. Oh, and this is gonna be the one you want to hear the most. Name Bertie Crouch! Junior. 
Hello, darkness, my old family. <laughs> Hello, father. See, now this is what Malfoy could have ended up like. <laughs> oh, that music is, is very in inspiring and also very sad later on. <laughs> so they're doing the Macarena? First person to touch the cup will be the winner. So technically, you could fail all the tasks leading up to this and then just happen to be the first one that touches the cup and then you win it all. Perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, Fleur wasn't really able to do much of anything in this tournament. <laughs> and this is where we really did get the Harry Potter version of the Maze Runner. <laughs> They're literally making each other eat bush. <laughs> Another one of my favorite shots and moments in the entire franchise. This look, oh. You saved me, take it. Together. This is the one time chivalry was not the right choice, Harry. Where are we? I don't know, it's a riddle to me. Get back to the cup. Ugh. Yeah, look at this shriveled up little Volder baby. Avada Kedavra! No! Cedric! No! The one thing I appreciate about his death is the fact that it is so unforgiving. Willingly. Sacrificed. Think he could have just given like a finger instead? <sighs> it's time for a little family reunion. Oh. That's an insult. Literally kicking him with your feet. If they speak of you, they'll speak only of how you begged for death. I guess that would make him the boy who lived for a while. I want to see the light leave your eyes! Love the energy. <laughs> Another one of the most iconic shots of the entire franchise. Ah! Oh, this scene, it always gets me. It's the screaming. That's my son! That's my this boy! man did such a good job with this character. Out of the fire, into the oven. Blood that runs through these veins runs within the Dark Lord. Even if you are a supporter of him, that's still weird that you're that obsessed with his blood. Is he in this room? It was the Google that gave it away. You all right, Alistair? Sorry, Albus. Alistair, how are you alive? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I love him. Speak in different tongues, our hearts beat as one. Goosebumps. No spell can reawaken the dead, Harry. I trust you know that. Now, there might be this thing called a a deathly hollow uh, or, or a resurrection stone, but not not a spell. Didn't do anything in the movie, but we love you just the same. I think we'll ever just have a quiet year at Hogwarts. <laughs> have you read the titles of the movies? Still have zero idea why they are sailing a boat underwater. I think outside of the end of this movie, this is the one Harry Potter film I remember the least about. Five against one. Very brave. Well, you're one to talk. Do you five have nothing better to do with your lives? Where is your mum? Where is your mum, Potter? When I think Dudley can't sink any lower, he just finds a new low. <gasps> Dudley, run! Harry being the man of the year, literally trying to save Dudley of all people. <laughs> do those things even have an eyeball for him to poke? Dobby? That's a moody. You want to talk about meta-ness is that this is the real first time that we're meeting Professor Moody. Don't break ranks if one of us is killed. Why do I feel like Moody could be straight out of a Mad Max film? Putting a lot of faith in the fact that nobody else is on that street right now. <gasps> Harry! I'm gonna make a lot of people upset. I really do think that Harry and Hermione should have ended up together. Anyway, if you're all done shouting, do you want to hear something a little more interesting? Fred, George, if you have an adventure, I'm always ready to sign up. <laughs> this is why I'm a dog person. <laughs> I'm thinking about it now. Arthur could basically be Buddy the Elf <laughs> when he gets on an escalator for the first time. Fudge, Minister. Witness for, for the defense. Dumbledore really said, oh, hold on, Minister. You're not as important as me. I was only doing it because of the Dementors. Oh God, there she is. There is the bane of my existence. The death of Harry Potter 5. Umbridge, I don't want to hear from you. Coincidence, Minister. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. 
Oh, look, Voldemort's here to go on the train. I expect this to sell an Azkaban with your name on it. <laughs> when did you become so lame? It's pulling itself like always. I think death trolls are such a cool concept that the only people that can see them are people that have seen death. You're not going mad. I don't know if I want to trust someone who's reading a magazine upside down. We also wish to welcome our new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Oh, for five, baby. Gotta love it. Ought to be prohibited. You already disgust me. My mom didn't want me to come back this year. Let me see. Uh, because of you. I'm sorry, who are you outside of blowing things up? Hey, he'll come through. We'll see. I said I'm fine, Ron. Harry, don't take it out on Ron. We just got him back from being a little pout monster. Examinations. O W. Oh. You can spell congratulations. Well, I can't imagine why you would need to use spells in my classroom. Isn't the class name Defense Against the Dark Arts? See me later, Mr. Potter. My office. It's okay, I'll save you all the time. I didn't tell lies. I just now realized this. Did she paint all the brick pink? You sociopath. Uh, we don't have Voldemort here, but we do have child endangerment. The parents knew about this. Yeah, well, I haven't got any of those, have I, Ron? I think all the poutiness from Ron transferred to Harry in this movie. In my own classroom, Minerva. Not at all, Dolores. That's right, short stack. You've been in this post how long? To be fair, that's the one job where I'm like, you know, if you really were trying to get strict about it, I could understand her being skeptical of Trelawney. But you were unsuccessful? Obviously. Ron, I would have done the same thing. One teensy little prophecy. Pity. You are in grave danger. Funny enough, she's not wrong. <laughs> Something you'd like to say, dear? Yes, you're a bitch. When you're a second away from being murdered, you don't know what that's like. This scene is when I knew this series had taken the darker turn, which I love, but this is what cemented it. It's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules. Who are you? I love it. You will please copy the approved text four times. What is it with you and writing lines over and over again? Did you have some sort of childhood trauma? Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Thanks, Ron. Come on, Ron, there's a piece of uh, floor over here for your butt to land on. <laughs> Hermione knows how to shoot her shot. <laughs> Who would have thought that Draco, Crab, Goyle, and Filch turned into the mystery gang? I feel like that's the most deadly spell of all. You've got the killing curse, but then you have Reducto that literally obliterates you. Expelliarmus! He's one for 1,000, baby! We got a shot! You ever watch a kiss in a movie and realize, huh, neither of them are good at kissing? <laughs> Look at me! Oh, I felt that in my bones. I will attempt to penetrate your mind. Any other word you could have chosen than that one? When all this is over, it'll be a proper family. That hits so much deeper knowing what movie this is. Dumbledore sent me to parley with the joints. Well, they're not that hard to fight, to be perfectly honest. You basically just look up and there they are. There's a storm coming, Harry. We'd all best be ready when she does. The darkness of this movie in particular just gets more and more and more as we go along and I love every second of it. <laughs> Helen Bonham Carter. Chef's kiss. Oh yeah, I wanted to apologize. Don't care. Says the prophet's version of things don't add up. You're still just exploder to me. <laughs> yeah, no regard for if you hit a student with that rubble or crush anybody or anything. <laughs> Where are you gonna take him if he's not even there? To go it alone. Psst. Hagrid, you're probably the one person in this universe that cannot sneak. Scrappy. Hagrid, we've already had Aragog in the forest. What else are you hiding out here? Put me down now. And this is when we realize that Hermione could step on me and I'd be okay with it. Weak. I'm not weak. Then prove it. Snape is literally one of my all time favorite characters from this universe. Potato. Goosebumps. Naughty children deserve to be punished. Oh, we'll get ready of a world of hurt, because I'm bringing the pain. Let's go, living legend! Woo! That's my guy. What are you doing? Improvising. Of course. I really hate children. You don't say. I will have order! You were saying? Tell them I mean no harm! I'm 
must not tell lies. You set yourself up for that one because karma's a bitch, baby! Neither can live while the other survives. I do love that backstory that Trelawney has had like one successful fortune, but it was the most important fortune of all wizard kind. Pretty baby Potter. I love her so much. Totalus. Good job, Neville. Rodolfo. And Ginny is now a murderer. Just an empty archway. They only whisper when someone's about to die. Give me the prophecy. Or watch your friend die. Any room for a compromise? Get away from my godson. Let's go serious! <laughs> of course his wand's in the staff. Nice one, James! Oh, that makes it ten times worse. <laughs> Bellatrix, I hate you in this moment. She is the literal vessel of chaos. She killed him. Of course, your snaky little ass shows up right now. There's our mans. We've been waiting for the most badass fight of the entire Harry Potter franchise. Something they don't even talk about is only the masters of wizardry don't have to say the names of the spells that they're casting. It's such a little sub thing, but I love it. I love it! It is smart. He knows he's matched with Dumbledore, but the one person that he thinks he can get inside. Look at me. <laughs> this whole scene is such a goosebump moment. <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> You're the weak one, and you'll never know love or friendship, and I feel sorry for you. Hit him where it hurts. The one spot he'll never have. We've got one thing that Voldemort doesn't have. Something worth fighting for. He couldn't be more right. <laughs> If I remember right, this is the only Harry Potter film that picks up immediately where the last one left off. Bill, is there supposed to be a skeleton in the sky today? Harry Potter. Who's Harry Potter? No one. I've heard he's also kind of a loser. <laughs> hey, I was wondering. Eleven. That's when I get off and tell me all about that toss of Harry Potter. We love a girl who knows how to shoot her shot. If only we didn't have Dumbledore to mess it up. When they introduce the whole apparating thing, that throws a lot of plot holes in the rest of the series for the older characters. I knew you were weird, Dumbledore, but that's a, that's a little kinky for me. I also love when they put that back together, it introduces color to the movie for the first time. I got regulars when he came along, of course, but I like the set. Don't like the way he said that. You're like my friend Mr. Potter here, one of a kind. You see what he did there? He literally says, Horace, you're just like Harry here, one of a kind. Collector and you come out to play. Hey, yo, Dumbledore, you couldn't have got me a little bit closer to the house? Really? We do just kind of thrust this romance out of nowhere, don't we? You should be honored, Sissy. As for Draco, he's just a boy. This does make me love Snape's character even more, is that he has so many layers going on, and it's hard to sometimes get through his loyalties to find out who he is. <laughs> Wouldn't expect any less from our two twins. How much for me? Five galleons. I'm your brother. Ten, Ten galleons. <laughs> Doesn't miss a beat. <laughs> He's lovely. They're also known to uh, inhabit a lot of the gift shops that you're gonna see at Harry Potter World for the next indefinite years. <laughs> Is Fang still alive? That's for my father. Enjoy your ride back to London. A jerkhole move, but I respect it. <laughs> Names? Professor Flitwick, you've known me for five years. No exceptions, Potter. Harry, I don't care what your name is. Name! Don't worry. I'll be here in a minute. All right, I know they make a lot of jokes about Ron eating, but that is an obscene amount of jello. Meanwhile, the post of defense against the dark arts be taken by Professor Snape. He's waited 10 years for this. This is his moment to shine. Mr. Davis, that is the girl's lavatory. Don't worry, Professor McGonagall, that was my intention. Let this sink in. If Harry had gotten the other book, this movie would not exist. Manages to brew an acceptable draft of living death. Which sounds like the perfect liability issue that we need to be having right now. 
What did I say? He is our resident TNT explosive expert. So perfect, I dare say one drop would kill us all. Which is exactly what you want to be having in the hands of Hogwarts students. So you spend a great deal of time with Miss Granger. I can't help wondering if... Oh, no, no, I mean... All of the Harry Hermione stands start to cry. I can make bad things happen to people who are mean to me. I can make them hurt. Well, let me tell you, I found the perfect school for you. Oh, fittings, Weasley, all right? Don't mind me, not trying to compensate for anything here. I love it when Hermione breaks the rules. <laughs> Use that chrome dome of yours. I didn't say I wasn't curious, and I don't sleep with it. I just sleep next to it. She looked over here and saw you snogging me. Would you expect her to get up and leave? What are you trying to insinuate over here, Hermione? God, a little bit. This is this is why I have these lights. This is why I have these lights for this movie. You remember when I said we were entering a horror film? Part 55. When something happens, it is always you three. Are you really surprised at this point? Hermione's got nice skin. Sorry, uh, what was that? One boy, Robbie Fenwick, did bite my father once. You know, for the longest time, I couldn't tell if those were ice cream scoops or meatballs. Ew. Please. Hello, everyone. Why? Luna, why? Don't drink it, Ron. Psst, Ron. This is what the muggles call a placebo. We shouldn't have done it. I suppose I could have just used the confundus charm. Oh, shit. Get caught on it. <laughs> when I read this in the books, my heart broke. <laughs> Hermione, I would give you all the hugs in the world and kick Ron in his face for you. Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. Hey, he is allowed to use it one time. Definition of quirky. And what happened to you? No, I've just escaped. She looks stunning in that dress. Oh my good God. <laughs> Alan Rickman can kill me with a look. Imagine Ron just wrote back, it's over. <laughs> and then she writes, F you. Just a this is what we call a Ron block. Shoelace. I mean, I feel like tying things. Bellatrix is the definition of you love to hate her. <laughs> this is pure chaos and I love it. That's my one one. Yeah. Please, I have to go and vomit. I'm right there with you, Hermione. Sign me up. I want you to persuade him to divulge his true memory any way you can. Define any way. She can never annoy me. I think I love her. I love this scene so much. I'm in love with her. All oh, right, fine. You're in love with her. Have you ever actually met her? Well, no, but that's besides the point. I want this run all the time. What happened to me? Love potion. Really bad. You need to pick me up, my boy. I feel slightly used. To life! Funny you should say to life. <coughs> I never want to hear a toast from Slughorn ever again. Where is he? Where's my one one? Read the room, you crazy girl! Oh, to be young and to feel love's keen sting. I do love that the entire group of them all sat there while that um, that conversation was going on. She looks like she's about to kill him. She seems a bit cut out. I feel bad for that spoon. I was completely boggled, wasn't I? Boggled. It is a roller coaster for them for the rest of the series. Looking pretty guilty over there, Malfoy. Oh, that's a good subtle hint that both the birds are gone now. That spell, every single time I hear it uttered, oh. You have to get rid of it, today. Instead of hiding it, couldn't they just destroy it? You can stay hidden up here too if you like. That was pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I don't buy the into their whole relationship because it feels like it's so rushed in the last two movies, that's pretty cute. Did you and Ginny do it then? What? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, but trust me, I know what I'm doing, or... Felix does. Again, I want this Harry all the time. Harry! Sir. Want this all the time. Go roaming the ground by yourself. Well then by all means come along, sir. You didn't think of this before, sir. The eyes, I reckon, they unnerve some folk. Not to mention the pincers. 
he's not wrong. And also the fact that they tried to kill Harry and Ron. And a family I trust? Oh, yeah. I forgot how funny this movie can be sometimes. A part of your soul that is hidden lives on. In other words, you cannot die. Never understand why he told him that. Magic, especially dark magic. So cool. Should I tell you to hide, you hide. Should I tell you to allow me to drink a chalice that will slowly kill me? Do it. And then the movie just gets instantly more epic. It's your job, Harry, to make sure I keep drinking this potion, even if you have to force it down my throat. It just got so much more real in two seconds. Uh, I wish we could have gotten a description of what Dumbledore was feeling while he took this potion. <laughs> Imagine having to do this. Just when you think all is lost. Just when you think it's all over. Oh, look at that shot. Draco, you got what you wished for. You are no assassin. How do you know what I am? This scene will never not get to me. Do it. This scene is so stressful. Please, have a cadaver. <laughs> That never stops giving me a heart attack. Once you have all the context, that scene becomes infinitely more brutal. This, this right here. He trusted you! Like, look at that. Where did this come from? It gives me goosebumps to this day. The only thing I wish extra about this movie in particular is that they would have ended it right there. Cut to black, no more resolution. We move on to the seventh one. Always admire your courage, Harry. Sometimes you can be really thick. Sometimes, try all the time. These are dark times, there is no denying. I never need to see that close into someone's eyes. I do love this opening to this movie. It really sets the finality of like how dire the situation is. Obliviate. Oh, I get goosebumps at that every single time. That must be the hardest thing in the world to have to do. Wormtail! Have I not spoken to you about keeping our guest quiet? I give you one job, you one-handed little cretin. To her, the mixture of magical and muggle blood, but something to be encouraged. Is that ironic that Voldemort's literally a half-blood in this universe? Why do I feel like Moody's always ready to curb stomp someone? <laughs> Tastes like goblin piss. I have lots of experiences with that, dear Maddo. Just trying to diffuse the tension. Surprised he didn't drop kick Q. <laughs> I can't think of a more fun day on set than literally Daniel Radcliffe playing himself seven different ways. Hold tight, Harry. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> oh, that's such a cool shot. There they are. We've got to have those three. Tonight's not the night, mate. We'd only be doing him a favor. Got to have that one friend that'll tell you how it is. Mother of Christ. He is at least making it a resource. <laughs> not gonna lie, that would be so much fun to have. Fully supported Dumbledore in his lifetime and in his death support you just as fully. Oh, I'm sure you do. Let's get let's give this movie a little time to breathe and then we'll revisit that thought. Ministry has fallen. Can we can we put a pause on this voicemail? I, I don't want to receive it. <laughs> nice meeting you, Mr. Robert. Nice meeting you too. Undetectable extension charm. You're amazing, you are. You're just now realizing that? <sighs> we didn't celebrate your birthday, Harry. Hermione, I'm not sure if that's the most important thing right now. <laughs> Mr. Sandman, we come in peace. Please do not harm us. I admit that both mentally and physically. I smell a little something something. My cousin Justin's looking for a little something something. Yeah. Ah! Creature is like a cockroach. He just never seems to die. This is such a cool slow motion shot. They knew what they were doing. They're like, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We've got to build a trailer into this. He isn't here. Oh, we finally reached peak Neville. Let's go, baby. Add the stubble and it's... Chef's kiss. Harry Potter, how long it's been! Dobby, how the hell did you meet up with Creature? Found a locket, am I right? Boy, was it valuable? Why is that your first question? What sort of person are you? <laughs> if I ever got stunned, I hope that's how my face would actually look. 
We flush ourselves in. That's bloody disgusting. You gotta do what you gotta do. What am I gonna do? My wife's all alone downstairs. Rod, why? <laughs> I don't think I can imagine a worst case scenario as being stuck in an elevator with Dolores Umbridge. <laughs> Mother to Maisie, Ellie, and Alfred. She's literally wearing it. I want her out of this universe, not a part of it. That was so badass. The way he slid it, slid it out like that. Ooh. It's Harry Potter. This will be fun to tell the kids. Ron, you may be committing a little bit too much to the role. All right, nobody look, nothing happening here. Just the three most wanted individuals in the world walking through the Ministry of Magic. Nobody needs to see anything. <laughs> hey, watch out the way, Lucius Jr. on the way. Oh, this part. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, even the way they drew it, they had Ron literally stretching out because part of him got left behind. Incendium. <laughs> This is like in a video game when you have an unkillable object and you keep doing random stupid stuff to it. Should have tried the killing curse. Maybe that would have done it. Dumbledore sends you off to find all these Horcruxes, but doesn't tell you how to destroy them. Doesn't that bother you? Kind of a fair point. Better? Right. Maybe if you just like put it in your pocket, it wouldn't be as bad. Severus Snape, the appointed headmaster of Hogwarts. Had... Irony is a fickle thing when Severus Snape becomes the headmaster of Hogwarts. Oh my god. What? Hermione, what did you do to my hair? There's only one problem, of course. We have a, the Pout Monster, part four. <laughs> I thought you knew what you signed up for. I thought I did too. He's He's got the necklace on. Harry! You think I'm not listening to? You think I don't know how this feels? You... Mom, Dad, please stop fighting! Your parents are dead. You have no family. That's, that's a line you just don't cross. Sometimes if you're close enough, you don't have to say anything. You just know what the other person's thinking. This this old lady gives me the skeeves. Ugh, the way she's just there. Ugh. Why do I smell rotting flesh? <laughs> that right there should have been your dead giveaway. Hurry! Hermione, I'm a little busy at the moment. I smell a redemption arc. Can you imagine in the dead of winter having to literally jump into a frozen pond? There's an ice bucket challenge and then there's just inviting hyperthermia. Being forced to drown, that seems like the absolute worst way to go. They say that when you're drowning, your head literally feels like it's exploding. Money, are you mental? It's our boy, we've missed you. We were better without you. They look like two mannequins. You know it's fake. Hey. I'm sure you pissed. Where's my wand? I don't know. Harry Potter, you give me my I don't wand! Have it. I love it. And gorgeous. <laughs> I was drinking a glass of water. You all oh, don't do that to me. Mine's right. We ought to see love good. Ron, tone it down just, just a little bit. You gotta get yourself out of her ass. A lonely winding road. Twilight. Midnight. Ron. You're on her bad side. The three brothers simply waved their wands and made a bridge. I would love a Harry Potter magical universe movie with this sort of animation for the entire thing. The Elder Wand, the most powerful wand ever made. The Elder Wand is great, but it does have that clause of whoever disarms the last owner then becomes the owner. Seems a little finicky. <laughs> How to obliterate a house in three seconds. Some people don't like this scene right here, but I love the chaotic energy of them running through the forest. <laughs> Smart. Change of plan. We're not taking this lot to the ministry. You know what? I appreciate the fact that they didn't make all the little snatchers stupid in this universe. At least he had a brain to say, even if there's a chance, I'm taking him in. <sighs> well? Draco, you only have one good purpose to us anymore. I hope. Mr. Malfoy. You look to me like that in my own house! What happened to you as a child, Malfoy? Reckon it's mine now. <laughs> no, she just really doesn't like it when you steal from her. Oh, Bella Fix. I, I love to hate you, but in this moment, I just hate you. <laughs> the one time that we actually want Dobby to show up. Are you saying you can operate in and out of this room? Of course, uh, I'm an elf. His optimism is everything. <laughs> 
Dobby for the win, baby. Draco, you little pansy, just give me those wands. Lucius, for being who you are, you are terrible at dueling. That smile, too. Hermione, Hermione, help me! This is a perfect representation of death. It comes fast and you're never ready for it. Y'all didn't think that was the finale, did you? We're finally here, baby! We made it! It's been a journey, but you already strap in! I don't know why, but the white contrast to how you're used to seeing the Dementors in like dark colors makes it that much more freaky. Snipe! He trusted you! You know, the one thing I can say is that the Weasley crew had some good investments in real estate. That's, that's a really pretty house. How are you? Alive. Mm, very, very insightful conversation there, Goblin. More than a few curious things in the vaults at Gringotts. And in Madame Lestrange's vault as well. I think I would love a subplot or just a different movie entirely of all the crazy things that go on at Gringotts. This was the wand of Draco Malfoy. I sense his allegiance has changed. That's the little breadcrumbs that we have for the rest of the movie. That right there is the most important piece of information. You sure that's hers? Positive. I love her as Bellatrix. If you get us past the guards and into the vault, the sword's yours. You should have specified get us back out as well. Uh-huh. Ayo, hey, short stack. If you are a concerned guard, why would you walk so slowly towards them? <laughs> Everybody buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. It's been trained to expect pain when it hears the noise. That's barbaric. But effective. Stop moving! As we know from the first movie, Hermione, Ron's not good at stopping. I said I'd get you in. I didn't say anything about getting you out. Can't lie, when I heard what Griphook said and what they said, I kind of agree with him. Is that okay? You might want to look at your hand, dum-dum. I swear, someone needs to tell that dragon to stop moving around so much. Never mind! Well, Gripbuck, I would say that I feel bad, but I feel like it's more just desserts. She's coming back. Who's that with her? Oh, you're about to see the peak. The absolute creme de la creme of Neville Longbottom. Oh, you know, like hell, I reckon. No, like a smoke show, I reckon. Lightning has struck, I repeat, right lightning has struck. Upon her. Is that two on the nose? <laughs> Where is it? We don't know that either. I realize it's not much to go on. That's nothing to go on. That's the first time you've ever said something useful. Harry. Hi there. Harry, we got we got to work on those intros, okay? Shout out to the hoes though. There's only one Harry. Shut up, shut up. Seamus, you've never gotten any less annoying. Tell them how you looked him in the eye. A man who trusted you and killed him. Even though I know the full story, I still love his energy. <laughs> you are not gonna mess with my homegirl, McGonagall. What are you waiting for? Someone grab him. Yep. Hang on, uh, someone grab her. I've got this thing called my boot. Students in the corridor! They are supposed to be out of bed, you blithering idiot. Thank you, McGonagall. We were thinking it, you say it. Potter, it's good to see you. Ugh, Maggie Smith, just melt my heart. To blow it up, boom, boom. How on earth are we gonna do that? Why don't you confer with Mr. Finnegan? This is the one thing that he's actually good for. Harry Potter, you listen to me right now. Luna, when did you get so stern? He's lied to many people. I know what he's done. Okay, I do not want the conjuring in my movie. Is this part realistic? Probably not. Do we accept it anyway because it adds to the story? Of course. You all couldn't have left the Quidditch hoop alone. I mean, what, what? What is it doing to you? That's right. Anyone else want to get Thanos snapped away? He can never just sit down and die. He always has to be dramatic on his way out. Was that the right time? I still don't think so. Chaos and I love it. Maybe he's gone to the room of five. Doesn't show up on the does it? You said that last year. Ron has turned into a bloody little genius. Five. Of all the places your stupid spell could land. Where's Lockhart when you need him? I'm sorry, Goyle, but you had this one coming. Draco, you better help them out for the rest of the movie after this. Oh, Lucius, how far you've fallen. You look terrible. 
We've waited seven movies for this. The Elder Wand belongs to the wizard who killed its last owner. See, that's where you're wrong. It actually belongs to the person who disarmed its last owner. This technicality got Severus killed. <laughs> What a terrible way to go. If he's your servant, you could at least make it quick and painless. Take them, please. You have your mother's eyes. Rip my heart into pieces. Valiantly, but in vain. Is there any reason you have to be doing this like you're talking to us in ASMR? Harry. You know what, I gotta respect the hustle of Slughorn. Even to this moment, he's trying to collect Harry. Snape really was our little emo boy. What will you give me in exchange, Severus? Anything. Been waiting eight movies to say this, but this is by far and away my favorite scene in the entire Harry Potter universe. Your father was a great man. Your father was a swine. This is the greatest character flip around in the history of literature in my mind. Of Voldemort lives inside him. When I read those words for the first time, I screamed. The boy must die. Yes. Ugh, and the music too. You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. That line always destroys me. Really? After all this time? Always! Always. You hear all that. You see all that. What do you do? Go. They really just said, okay, we're gonna try to break your hearts in as many ways possible, as quickly as possible. Stay close to me. Always. Rip my heart out! This whole next scene, this whole next moment is the definition of irony. Come to die. When I heard that for the first time in the trailers, we all lost it. It looks like King's Cross Station, only cleaner. And somehow I don't need to have my glasses anymore. Part of him lives within me, doesn't it? Did. I was about to say, past tense. Help will always be given at Hogwarts, Harry, to those who ask for it. Psst, the sword. Psst. At this point, he's not the boy who lived. He's the boy who lived twice. <laughs> I do love the juxtaposition that Hagrid brought Harry to the Dursleys at the beginning of the story and brings him here at the end of the story. You put your faith in me. Hmm, I hear you, I hear you, but uh, no. Harry Potter is dead! You can keep saying it, it won't become any more true. Come on. The man of the hour. The man, the myth, the legend. Doesn't matter that Harry's gone. Stand down, Neville. Seamus, shut up. They didn't die in vain, but you will. I love that energy. Come on, Neville. <laughs> what was that about Harry being dead? Well, this is just unfair. You're using the snake plus the Elder Wand. How many Voldemorts does it take for him to realize that he literally can't kill Harry? Not my daughter, you bitch. <laughs> Bye, Bellatrix. Uh, that's nightmare fuel. Let's finish this! Yeah! Oh, I'm sorry. Is your arm letting you know that it's setting in? Voldemort, looks like you don't feel so good. He's like, so, I killed the snake. Seemed pretty cool now, don't I? Wanna go out? You know, you could you'd repair your wand, heal up Hogwarts, do any number of things, but yeah, Break it for sentimental value. You'll love to see the next generation. I love it so much. All right, so that was the entire Harry Potter cinematic universe. If you made it to this point in the video, we gotta give a round of applause to you because this is gonna be one long video, but I had so much fun revisiting all of those movies and reliving my childhood. I went and started watching the series probably after number two, and I went and did all the midnight releases, I read all the books, I did the midnight book releases. That will never not have a special place in my heart. I absolutely adore the Harry Potter franchise. In my opinion, it is the greatest collection of young adult fiction out there, maybe even fiction in general. You just never have had a movie series be so consistently good for that long. Like eight movies and all of them are good, some better than others, but none of them bad, that's unheard of. So as promised, I am gonna give my rankings for the films now that we've watched all the way through. I'm gonna go from best to worst with my rankings. Starting out, we've got Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. 
It's my number one. Harry Potter 7 Part 2, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter 7 Part 1, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and then finally and last place, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I think I got them all. I think I ranked them all correctly there. But yep, that's my ranking. Leave your comments below on what you think about it. But if you like what you saw here today and you want to see more, if you could please hit that subscribe button and that like button. This is a long labor of love. So please, please, please smash that like button. Help push us farther into the algorithm. Let more people be able to see this video. I absolutely love you all. You are the absolute best. Also, go check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash movies in depth for the full uncut length reaction to all eight of the Harry Potter films. There's gonna be so much cut out. If you wanna go see every single reaction, the full uncut thing, go over to Patreon. It's gonna be a fun time. I can't wait to see you guys over there. Go check out my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times. And besides all of that, I'll Harry Potter you all in another one.